Good afternoon, everybody. It's been a while since we've done this. Um, my name's Paula. I'm with the Atlantic Institute. We are a nonprofit organization all about uh, having a peaceful world. Um, that's our vision, a peaceful world. Um, I'm going to show you a short two-minute video about the Atlantic Institute and let more people in as needed. Um, and we will then turn it over to Kendra, who is now going to make a Mongolian turkey rice bowl. Um, sorry about the change. If you didn't get that, I'll, um, I'll let Kendra explain. Um, but here we go. The Atlantic Institute is a nonprofit organization dedicated to promoting harmonious coexistence between peoples of various cultures, faiths, and backgrounds. We seek this goal through peaceful dialogue, education initiatives, and community organization. Our dialogue events bring together experts, community and faith leaders, and knowledge seekers to address social issues that affect us all. We feel dialogue is the most important element in peaceful coexistence, so we try and maintain several panel discussions, TED Talk events, and book clubs throughout the year. These events touch on social issues, race relations, and cultural understanding and are a mainstay of our programming. The Atlantic Institute's education events are extremely important to our mission of understanding. We want to promote socially forward critical thinking to students of all ages. To that end, we have developed programs that seek to grow the creative spirit of students and help them think about their communities and the world around them. Our Future Leaders of Dialogue event brings together nominated elite students to learn from each other as well as political and business leaders. Our Art and Essay Contest gives students a theme about important societal issues and allows them to create wonderful works of art and writing while steering their minds towards improving their world. We are always seeking ways to educate youths and adults in order to make a peaceful world for all of us. Our community events are designed to transform neighbors into friends and groups of people into a community. By associating with other nonprofits or by our own initiative, we are always trying to discover new avenues to improve our neighborhoods, places of worship, and community centers. We host cooking demonstrations of food from other cultures, work with various nonprofits to help elevate the work of others, and try to find a way to make the lives of those who are disenfranchised or marginalized better. Building a more peaceful world starts in our backyards, so we are dedicated to improving our communities and associations. The Atlantic Institute is always seeking like-minded volunteers and collaborators. If you would like to learn more, find volunteer opportunities, or just want to chat with our staff, please visit our website at www.AtlanticInstituteSC.org or follow us on Facebook. We will never run out of fun, educational, peaceful events. So come join us to help make this world a better place full of understanding and unity. Hi, I'm Premium Wireless. All righty then. Let me make sure I stop that, otherwise the commercials will play. Um, I am now going to turn this over to our um, our instructor for the day, and she's going to make a wonderful dish for us, uh, Mongolian turkey rice bowl. Um, all right, Kendra, it's all yours. Hi there, everyone. Good afternoon. How are you all today? I hope you guys are doing really well this great Saturday. Uh, wow, Saturday is always great. I decided to change this because I felt like this was more appropriate for where we're at. So, hey guys, if you don't know who I am, this is my third time at Atlantic Ethnicity. And this is my way of giving back. All right? So, I hope you sit back and enjoy. If you've got some feedback, comments, go ahead and go to the chat and uh, we'll catch them you know, afterwards. Okay? So today, also, I have a surprise for you guys. So, she did say Mongolian, uh, Mongolian. Usually, Mongolian is used to use with pea or shrimp, right? That's the norm. Shrimp or chicken. But today, we're going to do a more healthy way as well with turkey, ground turkey. Not okay. So you guys are gonna in, in for a treat. So we're gonna actually start out making our bowl first. So we're not gonna do like a 
like you know, like a bowl bowl, right? <laughs> but we're going to do do a pineapple bowl instead. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how to walk you through that really quick. But before I do that, let me get my commercial out of the way. I am cooking with Kendra, okay? And I am a chef and also a caterer, all right? I do personal shopping. So if you're in the Atlanta area, I also travel as well. Um, I have cooking classes myself. What personal cooking class for those who are just, just don't know how to cook? Just let me know. I'll be happy to do that. And on the back of this is my catering business as well, okay, guys? So I'm cooking with Kendra, and you can be fine on um, the cutting in and out. Am I cutting in and out? You're on mute. Yeah, yes, you are cutting in and out on us. Just speak okay. a little louder when you're farther away. Sure, no problem. Let me, I'm, what I'm going to do is cut off this here. I think that might be the issue. Just let me turn this one off real quick. Okay, what about now, guys? Is it better? You're on mute. That is better, yes, but you're also closer, so. Okay, so I'll stay closer. I got it. I see okay. how it works. Okay. So like I was saying, guys, this is my um, um, a chef and a caterer as well, okay? And I have my own cooking classes called Cooking with Kendra, and you can sign up with um, Cooking with Kendra, uh, www.cookingkendra.online, and I also, I also a caterer and a chef as well, okay? So if you guys like some soul food, or I could pretty much cook anything, okay, guys? So I'm just letting you guys know. I'm your girl for that, all right? So let's do a sound check again. Can you guys hear me? Everybody in the comments, put a one in the comment if you could hear me clear. And then the instructor, she's going to let me know. So let's do that first before we can proceed. If you can hear me clear, put a one in the comments. Loud and clear. I, okay. <laughs> All right, Anthony, I see you. Let me go down these names. I see you coming in. Not yet. Ruby said to everyone, not yet. Ruby, check your sound. Check your sound. Let me set it. Okay, so I'm assuming not completely. Annie said not completely. Okay. Good. Anthony said good. All right. All right. That's good. That's good. Come on. I'm, I, I like I like class participation, so I want to know if you guys can hear me. Oh, I'm I'm gonna stand back here so that, to make sure you guys. What about here? Can you hear? Can you guys hear me here? Let me know. Yes. My oil spill, guy. You see what you guys did? I already made a mess in the kitchen, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> we bind that devil up in the name of Jesus when we invite Jesus with us. If you are a believer like me, we know that Jesus is Lord and he's the one that's running this show today. All right? So, y'all, we get ready to get started soon. I love the Lord, y'all. I'm going to tell y'all a little bit about, about me. I am a minister in the gospel. I'm in ministry and I also do chefing as well. So, you guys, it's always good to have more than one tree, right? One moment. It's always good to have more than one tree. Excuse me, I have to clean up. It's always good to have one, more than one tree. Why? Because it's called multiple streams of income. Say it with me, y'all. Multiple streams of income. Everybody type it in the comments. And let me know if they're, when they're doing it. Say multiple streams of income. Everyone say that. Say it with me. Multiple streams of income. All right. Are they typing it? Oh, no, they are. <laughs> Great. Come on, everybody. Everybody say it with me. Multiple streams of income. It's important to have multiple streams of income. Although I'm a chef and a cook, I also work in different areas because, you know, we want to make sure that we're wealthy, especially in these times, right? All right, y'all. I got that clean up. We clean that up a little bit. I want to make sure because. So, are we ready? Are we ready? Are we ready? We're ready, right? Okay, good. Let's just start. All right. The first thing we're going to do first, right? Let's go ahead and season our meat so it's properly. I'm going to go over the ingredients. I'm going to chop loud. If you can't hear me, just uh, comment and I'll project. 
Okay. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do to season our meat, we're gonna have garlic powder, we're gonna have complete seasoning, we're gonna have some pepper, we're gonna have some adobo. We like adobo, right? Anybody know about adobo? And and it's from boy about it. Okay, guys. And we're gonna have some salt. All right, you can use sea salt if you want. Everybody, I know everybody don't like this. Okay, so those are our ingredients for the turkey, the brown, to, for, to um, season the turkey. We have the jasmine rice. Now, okay, guys, listen. Typically, we know that it takes about 25 to 30 minutes to cook rice. But today, for the sake of time, we're going to microwave this bad boy today, okay? You can use any rice you want, okay? Yes, you are. Uncle Ben is your friend. Type it in the comments, y'all. Say it to me. Uncle Ben is your friend. Y'all type that in the comments, okay? So be gonna be, be, we're, we're cooking smart today, okay? So if you're ever in a rush, you got a family, you wanna, you know, be quick in this kitchen, this is what you do. And this is really good rice, by the way, okay? So we're gonna microwave, and actually this is jasmine rice, y'all. Stay with me, jasmine rice, okay? It's delicious. Although jasmine rice doesn't really take that long to cook, for the sake of time, we're going to pop it in the back with Okay, guys? Yeah. All right. And so the next thing we're going to do, we have frozen vegetable mix. Okay? We, I have two of them. We have two of them. I'm going to let you guys choose which one you want because one of them is a little bit different than the other. But we're also going to put some natural uh, pepper, fresh pepper and onions to go with it. You know, the trick of the trade of catering, you know? Trick of the trade of candy. I'm teaching y'all something today, okay? <laughs> but if you desire to have everything fresh, then you go ahead and you can choose some fresh carrots, you can do some fresh broccoli, all right, some snap peas, and you cut them up, and you can do it that way too. But like I said, hey, I'm on the go. I'm busy, all right? So we're going to do frozen veggies along with some fresh ones, okay? Let me know if you guys can hear me. I want to make sure that the sound check. Let me know. Stand up in the comments, please. Here are our fresh peppers I was telling you guys about. Now we're going to be using red pepper, green pepper, an onion, and the green onion. The green onion is more for garnishing, okay? We're going to garnish it afterwards. And we have sesame seeds. Sesame seeds. Um, I can give you the recipe afterwards because we changed it, you know, at a split of a second. I will go ahead and send out the recipe after I'm done, if that's okay with you, okay? So I want you to sit back, enjoy, relax, and even have some fun because I love to have fun in the kitchen. My motto is don't forget to dance in your kitchen, okay? So I want everybody to do a little dance. Do something to indicate that you're having fun. That's right. You see, do something. I like, hey, 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 hey. All right. So I want you guys to have fun, enjoy this class, and then I'll have your, I'll have your leader. She will go ahead and send the recipe out via email. Okay, guys, is that all right with you guys? I want you to learn, look, all right. So we're gonna also crown this thing off with some sesame seeds. You know, when we have a Jap dish or Asian dish, because that's basically what this is. Okay. We're doing a jack. So we went from an American dish to an Asian dish. Because I felt like eating some Asian dish. Because at the end of the day, guess what? I got to eat this bad boy. Okay? I got to eat this. I, you. When you cook, you got to eat. Okay? <laughs> so this is what we're doing today. So we're going to top it off with sesame seeds, guys. All right? So, oh, and here's our ground turkey. This is about 85% lean turkey. Now, you know, you can decide, you can decide whether or not um, how lean you want your ground turkey. But this is this is ground turkey. Again, I'm going to make another announcement. We are going to post the recipe after the class, okay? Everybody say it with me. She's going to post the recipe after the class, okay? Is that okay? All right, she gave me the okay. So now going forward, yes, this is a pound of turkey. Yes, it is. Is it a pound of turkey? It's a pound of turkey. I just dumped it right out of the package. All right? Pound of turkey. 
Now, let's see what else we got. All right, I think we're good to go, guys. We're ready. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm going to season my ground turkey. So let me put my gloves on. You always wanna make sure you put your gloves on when you're dealing with or any kind of food, because guess what? If you're, if you're preparing for a party or your family and friends, you wanna make sure your hands are clean. Say clean hands, y'all. Clean hands, y'all. We need to have clean hands. Don't be cooking my food with no dirty hands, okay? And what's the rule? When you're washing your hands, I want you to sing the happy birthday song all the way through. Because that's a long enough time. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. We love you. That's a very long time. That means that if you have gotten through that song, that means your hands are clean, okay? Rules and tricks of the trade. I do have a safe third set of cases, guys, so I have to make sure that I'm doing things right, all right? But, of course, this is for me, so technically, I don't have to do this because I need it. But if I'm preparing food for the public, okay, or for anybody outside of myself, I need to make sure that my hands are clean, okay? Yeah. All right, so this is my hand. I'm going to have one glove, right? I'm using one glove today. I recommend two. I'm using this one, too. Two. All right, so let's demonstrate. So here's the turkey, guys, all right? Turkey's here. I'm getting ready to season, all right? I'm not touching this, although I want to. I'm so want to. I'm so used to doing this next. But that's actually contamination, all right? If I take this and, and use this like this, you're contaminating the glove. This glove needs to be free to go inside of the turkey, all right? So what I need to do first, all right, because I'm going to change, I don't have to change my gloves again. I didn't open the season, guys. All right, so you know how when we cook, we're like, oh my God, I gotta, so this opening up first. Right? So we just grab and go. Grab and go, right? So that we don't have any art gloves. And I'm throwing this glove out, because guess what? The glove has touched that. I mean, you saw I was wiping it with. You saw what I was wiping this with, right? So we're throwing this out, right? Now, let's get another glove. And now we're ready to see because we open up our seat. Okay, remember, we don't want to contaminate anything. We want everything to be done in decency and in order. Okay, say it with me, guys. We want things to be done in decency and in order. We want it to be right. In other words, in excellence, right? Say it with me. She wants it done in excellence. Cookie with Kendra wants it done in excellence. All right, so here we go. Now, most of you probably don't want the measurements of this, but I'm going to eyeball it, but I promise you that I will give you the recipe after this class. So we're just gonna, I'm going to eyeball this. I'm putting my garlic on here. And I'll just walk you through. I bought a tablespoon. Tablespoon of this. This is complete seasoning. All right? I'm going to put some adobe, a tablespoon of this. And the reason, now you can do it as much of how you want it because everybody doesn't like heavy seasoning. All right? Everybody doesn't like heavy seasoning. So you're going to do it to your judgment. All right? Um, I'm going to do a little bit of salt. All right? And I'm going to put some pepper in here. Oh, yeah, guys, and I have a secret ingredient that I didn't tell you guys about that I'm going to at the end to show you that's going to go on this. You're going to be like, oh, my God, it's so cool. All right, so now I got everything in here. I'm taking my glove, my clean hand, all right, my happy, my happy birthday hand. Well, both of them should be clean, but I'm just using one today. And I'm going to mix this up, all right? We're mashing this all up. And I forgot, guys, I like to put a little oil, teaspoon of this in my meat, right? Because it allows me. Uh, season to incorporate very well. All right, so I put a little oil in here, and I recommend using olive oil. Okay, this is a very healthy dish, y'all. So olive oil is your friend. Say it with me: olive oil is your friend. You can use grapeseed oil, avocado oil, whatever oil that you choose. You can. Right now, I want to put a little bit more seasoning because I just feel it. Sometimes you know, I'm, I'm more like a touch feel type of cook, so I can feel when something needs more of something in it. Are you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, so I'm going to look at more. Because I like seasoning. I really do. Okay, so I think we're good. I think we have enough seasoning in here. Okay, so as you guys can see, we seasoned it very well. All right? It's seasoned very well. Okay? So we're going to set that to the side. I'm taking off my happy birthday glove, and we're going to trash it. Okay. Now, the next thing first. Now, I'm going to use my hand now because I love to use my hand. They're clean. I'm, the next thing we're going to do now, remember I told y'all about the pineapple bowl? 
But this is it, all right? So I'm going to show you guys how to make a pineapple bowl so that we can put our Mongolian turkey right in, in here with our rice, all right? I've already cut it up, guys, so I, I did the hard part. I recommend that you use an electric knife. It's easier to do. That way you don't cut yourself, you're not struggling, or you need a really sharp knife. I've already cut this up for us, okay? Hey, this looks so cute. Okay. This looks so cute. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right, so yeah, y'all yeah, see that, right? It's already cut up. So I'm going to put this to the side. Now it's time to go to work. We got to go to work, okay? So now what I'm going to do, here's my knife. Let me make, can you guys hear me? I want to make sure you can hear me. Right. So I'm going to take this knife and I'm just going to cut these into squares. Okay. Now this pineapple was pretty tough. It's not as ripe as I would like. Right? So you got to be careful when you're cutting because you want to get you got to get down in there good enough so that you can grab these out of here. So we got to clean it out so we can make these some bones. Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna take my spoon. I have a spoon I'm gonna use to dish this out. And I'm gonna put put this in here and now this becomes dessert, okay? So not only are we doing a bowl, but we're also making dessert because we can find up in here. I put some cool wood on it and we have a dessert. This is a strawberry, okay? Another little trick for you. All right, so now I'm gonna dip these out, all right? I'll put it here. Okay. And take your time with this. All right, because you don't want to, you don't want to damage the bottom of the the pineapple bowl. I'm moving a little fast, but you want to take your time to get it out. Now, if you have a really sharp knife, you can and you really wouldn't need to do all of this. But I didn't really go down deep enough to do it. This for those who just really are not, you know, maybe you're an amateur and you just do it uh, cooking, you can do it this way too, the same way. Kids can do this too. You get your kids involved with this, they can carve it out, you know, with a spoon. Okay. Like, mommy, I want to help. Mommy, I want to help. Okay, well, take the spoon, dog. Take the spoon, the spoon bobby. <laughs> And go ahead and you know, you know, I'll just play with that. Okay? I like to laugh in the kitchen. I like to have fun. So. But yeah, so do this. We're trying to clean all the pineapple flesh out of here. Okay? We got to get all that flesh out of here. All right, so I'm gonna take this. Got a lot of juice coming out of here. And just keep digging until you get it all out. I'm so tempted to eat this, guys. So, so, so good. Does anyone like pineapples like me? I'm allergic to them, but. I love it. <laughs> We're almost done with this. I just want to make sure it's clean, really clean. And I want to take a little, cut some out a little bit. You might have to go back in with the knife sometimes. Depending on how clean you want it. Okay.
All right, guys. And there we have it. What do you think, guys? Perfect, right? Okay, so we got that cleaned out. So now we're going to clean this out, clean it up a little bit. And now I'm going to put this in the refrigerator to the food so I can eat it later, okay? All right, we got to get going now. So, so we got our bowl. Now, what you can do with, before you put your rice, you put parchment paper in here. Parchment paper down at the bottom, right? And then put your rice on there, okay? Just fold it up really nice. Pretty nice and neat, okay? All right, so let's get started. Now, let's cut the peppers up. We're going to cut the peppers up now, okay? Let me rinse my knife off. All right, so green pepper's gonna go inside, inside of here. All right? Make sure you grab that middle out of there. Clean the seeds out. Cut the bottom of this. And boom. Depending on how you want your veggies, you want it long, you want it big, however you want to do it, I'm gonna make mine small, okay? And I'll cut it. I'll cut it. How about that? I see he's got everywhere. Right? Um, same thing with the um, red pepper. Grab that out of there. Cut the bottom of it. And then you have. Take that all cut up. Cut in half. All right. And now the onion. I want to make these long too. You like a lot of onion? Right? So we're gonna put this inside of our our mix. So we have enough, right? If you want more veggies, put more in there. As much as you like. Alright, this is gonna be good ash. And I forgot to tell you guys what we're gonna put on this. Now typically when you're making the Mongolian uh, bowl, we use like to make the sauce, you can use teriyaki sauce, you can use um Asian sauce, whatever sauce you want to make, usually consists of brown sugar, uh, honey, uh, garlic, minced garlic, uh, ketchup. Th that's my secret reason. But today, guys, we're going to do cha Japanese barbecue sauce. Can y'all say it with me? Can y'all see that? Would you bright? Can you see that? Okay. It's Japanese. There it is. Japanese barbecue sauce. That's what we're going to use. So we're cutting corners. This sauce is really good. Okay. It's going to take your Mongolian bowl up and down. Whether you're using shrimp, turkey, chicken, steak, it's great. All right? So let's do it. Now, so let's get started. We're almost done, believe it or not. Here. Let me make sure I get this off of this. We don't want to, we don't want no fire. The oil kind of cooled a little bit of the stove. So in case that happens, guys, let's make sure you do it. Like them out. Okay. All right. So now, so now we're going to cook our turkey. 
right? A tablespoon of oil. Like I told you, I went over the oil before. Grapeseed oil, olive oil, avocado oil, whatever you want to use, okay? Put that in there. And we're going to put that on there. Okay. The, the turkey is nice and seasoned good, so we're ready. It should be great, good to go. We're going to put this on medium high. All right, guys? Depending on your oven, okay? Because everybody, you know, depending on your oven, how quick it's hot. But you guys can see the fire getting hot there. Okay? Depending on how uh, your stuff is, oh, everybody, oven, like I said, it's different. This one's pretty, um, oh, it's a pretty good one. This is the GE oven. So I'm going to put mine a little bit higher because Again, we're moving for the sake of time to make sure that we get everything in. Okay, so we're gonna let that get heated up, and I think we're gonna do it. Let me just clean this up a little bit. Okay, see all my little scraps here, guys. Right? If you're like me, you know you want to make sure you keep your kitchen clean. So I also have a meat masher here. All right, so that when we put that turkey in, we're gonna make sure we match it up real good and get it really nice and fine. Okay, so this is a silicone meat masher, they have different ones, but we're gonna use this one today. Okay, all right, so it's getting hot. All right, is there is there any other questions while we're I can say questions while we're waiting for the oven to get? Hot. Should be in a few minutes. It's almost there. Does anyone have any questions while we're waiting for the oven to warm up? How many even like Asian bowls? Anybody like rice bowls? Let me know if there's any questions. No questions? I guess we're good. All right. They want so to know what the it? ingredients are in the uh, Japanese barbecue sauce. They want to know what the ingredients are? Okay. So let's see. The ingredients is pretty much the same. Okay. So it has non-GMO soy sauce. It has water, soybeans, wheat, salt, cane sugar, um, seeds, uh, sea salt, what else? Tomato paste, organic ginger, green onion, organic rice vinegar, organic garlic. Yep, everything is pretty much organic. It contains wheat, soy sauce, and stuff. Okay? Now, you're going to enjoy this. They have different kinds. Let me see, because there's I think this light is I'm gonna move this light out of the way so you can see. So they have different kinds of Japanese barbecue sauce. When I tell you you're gonna be so pleased with this, it's delicious. Um it's a nice texture as well. And they have spicy ones, they have different kinds and different flavors that you can get. But I recommend the it's the red version. It's it's red, the letters are red. And it's B A C H A N S. Okay. You guys can see that. I think you can see it now. There you go. Can you guys see that? So that's the Japanese barbecue sauce. This one here. And this is this is an authentic family recipe. Now, normally I would make this on my own and I would do put some similar ingredients in here, but I like this. If it's something that you like that works, then work it. So, okay, so now let's go ahead and put our um, turkey in here. Okay. All right. Turn it around a little bit. It smells delicious already. 
So we're gonna make sure we get this well done. We're gonna make sure we get this turkey well done, guys, okay? I wanna use my meat masher to make sure that we got the meat mashed up pretty good, all right? I think I got it matched up okay? Now I'm going to use my spoon to toss it over. This smells absolutely delicious. Again, we use the ground turkey. Most of the time, you don't really hear Magonia with turkey, but it's a good guy, and it's very healthy. You can even try deer meat if you want to. <laughs> how, many, how many people like deer meat out there? <laughs> Any deer meat lovers out there? I'm just kidding. Me personally, I'm not a deer meat lover, but I'm just letting you know that you can do whatever you do. What makes it Magolian? The sauce, the ingredient that's putting that you're putting in. We're almost done with this. Right? So once we're done with the turkey. We gotta make sure we drain the oils off. Well, not too much of it because we're gonna put the veggies in. Okay? And I'm looking for something to put this in. Let's see. All right, so y'all see that? It's just about done. Give me a moment. I'm right behind you guys. I'm getting a plate to put the turkey on. That looks delicious. It's nice and chopped up the way I want it. And let me get the meat. I want it really choppy. So I want my meat to be really small. So I'm going to chop it up some more, okay, guys? I want it to be nice and small and nice. Just nice. Sometimes when you're cooking ground beef or ground turkey, this it just doesn't get small enough for me. It's like it sticks together. So the meat matcher will help you to get it smaller and nice and nice and even. Yeah, I like that. That's nice. All right, guys, I'm bringing it up closer so you guys can see. Do you see that smoke? Looks good, doesn't it? All right, so we're good. So what I'm going to do is turn this down a little bit and drain this off a little bit. I'll be right behind you guys. Drain it off. It's really quickly. And I'm going to just put it on this plate right here. Okay, so here's our turkey right here. You see, guys, I got it right there in front of me. Nice, everything is even, the meat is small enough. I want it to be nice, okay? Nice and fine. I'm gonna bring it up to the camera so that I want it to be nice and fine and even. And I don't want like big pieces all over the place. Okay, so now you got to put some more oil in here, all right? Put a little bit more oil in here if you want to whirl it around, another tablespoon of oil. Okay. 
Yeah. And now we're going to throw in our veggies. Okay. All right, which one do you guys want? Do you want snack peas or uh, broccoli, broccoli, cauliflower, or carrot? Or do you want the one with broccoli, carrot, sugar, snack peas, and water chestnuts? I personally like these. Anybody? Which one? Which one? I like the one with all of them. Broccoli, carrot, sugar, snack peas. I think that we're going to do this. Pour these in here at the same time. All right. I'm going to make sure we incorporate that oil. You can use butter if you want to. Oil is oil. Look, olive oil is more healthy. And we want to make sure that we get this to an al dente, right? Yes, I'm excited about this. Love it. How many vegans are out there? If you like vegan, you can do a Mongolian vegan bowl with veggies only. Hey, create your own. Just create your own, okay? So we got this in here, right? So we got our fresh veggies and our frozen veggies cooked at the same time, right? You can do that. You actually can. Scrumptious, scrumptious, scrumptious. Try to get a little bit. Now, you can put a little seasoning on here if you want. Uh, I'm going to put a little complete seasoning on here, okay? My veggies. Man. seasoning or you can put a little sea salt whatever you want you really don't have to really huh? but because the sauce really just takes it all just makes it even more delicious look at that frozen look at that frozen there so let that cook about five or ten minutes until it gets our dente You can add a little water in it if you want. You don't have to. It just makes it cook quicker. Right? Doesn't that look good, guys? Bring it up so you guys can see it. Yum, 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 right? Yum, 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 yum. Yum. What are you laughing about out there? <laughs> uh, just somebody did a typo in the in the um the chat, and somebody else just responded with something funny. It was you have to read it. Oh my god! It, you guys are having fun, huh? I yeah, love it. they're having fun. Like you said, we're having fun. That's right. Yep. So just a reminder to everybody, everybody here in the class is going to get the recipe after the class is over. This is also being recorded so that next week you can go back and you can stop and you can pause and you can hear all her suggestions about different things. Um, and that's why we do this and we don't give the recipe ahead of time. It's because we want people to come and listen and, and just experience the class. So um, yes, the recipe after um, if you uh, don't think I have your email address, then you can put it in the chat to me personally, and I will make sure it's on my list. Um, I know there's a couple people here that I don't know who you are because you're not using your name. Um, where is she? Oh, maybe she left. It was an R E R A. Oh no, A R. Um, or yeah. <laughs> so just give me your emails, guys, and I'll make sure you get the recipe. Thank you. All right, so we're pretty much done with the veggies, right? So here, okay. we are. here we go, guys. We're going to go ahead and take our famous sauce, put it on there. 
All right, roll it around. Put that, put that sauce all over those veggies. I can't wait to eat this, y'all. So. <laughs> all right, put that sauce all up in those veggies. All right, now be careful with it because you don't want to keep it, all right? And now I'm going to go ahead and add my ground turkey. And we're going to get it all incorporated, mix in really well. And I'm going to add some more salt. Again, you can make your own sauce. I have my own recipe sauce that I usually make. But I like this one, guys. It's really good. And it's, you can find it at Costco, Publix, Walmart, uh, Kroger, depending on what your local store is, depending on where you're at in your city or your state. Okay. Ooh, that looks so delicious. Delicious. It's so delicious. Say it with me, y'all. It looks delicious. So delicious. <laughs> I love to see you cook too, guys. All right. So I'm going to put a little bit more in here. Look, I love this sauce. I cook this all the time. I'm pretty much out of this sauce. Love it. All right. Listen, guys, we're almost done with this Magonian bowl. Okay. Incorporate it some more. I'm going to let it sit for a little bit. That's what it looks like, okay? I'm Anthony says some. he'll be by for his two drive through pickup orders soon. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to be, all right, you can come on through, come on through, come on through. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. Let it, you know, marinate really good in there. Now, the easy part, y'all. Remember, I told y'all about that rice, right? I told y'all I'm gonna cut this up. This only takes 90 seconds. 90 seconds, y'all. So that's a, uh oh, that's a minute and 30 seconds. Da -da -da -da. And bam! Yes, guys, we're almost done. Okay? So now, here is the pineapple again. We still have some pineapple juice. So you want to put that parchment paper down there at the bottom. Point. But I don't have any parchment paper today, guys. So I'm going to put this little... I'm going to take a... This is a really sturdy uh, uh, paper towel. All right? Put it down at the bottom there. But again, I, like I told y'all, you don't have to do this. I don't want the I don't want the pineapple sauce on it. But it tastes even better too, did it? But I put like a parchment paper folded down up in there and I put it at the bottom of it, okay guys? If you want, you don't have to. But I recommend parchment paper. All right? That check on this. My rice is going. We got 39 seconds on the rice. Again, this is a quick tip for you all. You have an option. You can also use the standard rice. To make your own rice if you want to. It's up to you. It's up to you. Up to you. All right. I can't wait to find out these comments. <laughs> All right. So, so that's that. And um, the rice is cooking. Now, here's the thing to amp up this microwave rice, y'all. Like, oh, but it's microwave rice. It's, just, it's not the same. I can show you how to make it. So, get a little butter, right? Get your little, if you want to, you don't have to. This is starch already. You get your little rice. Look at this, y'all. I'm going to pour it out there. Can y'all see this? All right, you guys. I want to steal. Here's the pot. Sorry, guys. There's a pot there, and I'm going to pour this out. Again, this is jasmine rice, y'all. You can pretty much use any rice you want, really. Yellow rice, bright rice, whatever. But to be authentic, we're going to, uh, we're going to use the... Let me get my fork. We're going to use jasmine rice instead. Okay, guys? Give me a moment. Let me get my fork out right here. All right. So, look. There's the rice there, guys. You see it? There it is. Boom. And what you can do, you can add a little salt to it. Let me put the other one in here. Hold on. I got two of them. Because we got company coming over. Again, you can go pump that up. Uh, let's see. Where are we at? Right, and you can put a little salt on here if you want to. You don't have to. Actually, you really don't need it, but if you're salt conscious, don't do it. All right, 
right? And if they take a little butter, just a little bit, it's already melted. And I'm just gonna put a little butter in here to make it. All right? It's, it's, I made it myself, guys. You know, to, to, to make it their own, if you will. Okay? You're making this instant microwave rice your own. Okay? All right. So as soon as that rice is done, then we're going to do the plating of the rice bowl, okay? And we're at the end. We've got five minutes, though. Five minutes left in this class. To plate. Let, what is so funny? Sh please share with me. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you can order this on Amazon, Ruby. It's available on Amazon as well. But if you want to make this as close, you can use uh, brown sugar. Um, you can use brown sugar, ketchup, honey. You can use, um, what is that? What else do I use? Brown sugar, I said brown sugar, ketchup, honey, minced garlic, all right? And you mix those all together. You taste it. You get it as sweet as you would like it, and, and, and put water in there. And um, a little bit of apple cider vinegar as well. All right? But I can, I'll, I'll, what I can do is um, I'll send it with the recipe as an alternative for you when she when she mails it out to you guys, okay? That's what I'll do. I'll do just that for you, Ruby. Ruby, Ruby Jean, I'm going to do that just for you, okay? <laughs> All right. So we got our rice, y'all. Here's our rice. That's our rice. Jack and rice. Jack and rice, guys. All right, so let me clean this up. With you. Oh, and then we got to cut up our onions. All right. So that, that's our rice. So here's our bowl. Let me get this out of the way. So here are our two main dishes here. We have our Magolia. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off because it's cooked. All right, there we go. So you guys can see the white rice and the Magolian turkey, which, or stir fry, whatever you want to call it. All right? Magolian rice bowl. Okay, now, we're done with these, right? You guys can see it? Delicious. Right? Okay, now, next thing we got to do, I'm going to move this to the side. I cut the stove off. I want to cut up some onions real quick. All right, just to garnish it. So now let's go ahead and get this rice in here, y'all. We get the rice in here. And now we're gonna go ahead and get garnishes with this. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, it's hot. I was going to eat it, guys, but it's too hot. All right? So we got that. I'll put the rice on the meat, put it to the side, but I'm going to eat it. Now I'm going to take some onion, garnish it on the top, and we're going to use, remember I told you about the sesame seeds, right? Put your sesame seeds on here. Okay, turn this around. How oh, beautiful is that? I'm gonna bring it to the camera. Let me just make it look really cute. Right? All right, guys, here we go. This is our Mongolian turkey bowl, rice bowl. What do you think? Comments, questions? And there you have it. Thank you, Teresa. Woohoo! Thank you. Looks delicious. All right. Thank y'all. Thank you, Kenny. Looks great. Thank you, Alice. Looks great. Thank you, Annie. It's it's not paper towel. It's parchment paper. A little bit different. Yeah, parchment paper. Beautiful. 
Yeah, parchment paper. It's a wax parchment. It's basically, it's that baking paper that you use, guys. All right? Put underneath so that, you know. See, let me take a picture. 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 <laughs> All right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So there you have it. Oh, let's not forget about our resources. So we have desserts. Your pineapple, put some cool whip on it, and you're good to go, okay? Bam. We say, here, have my pitch. Awesome. <laughs> That's great. Bring out the umbrella drink. Okay. All right, mimosas on the house for everybody. Hey. <laughs> so that is the finish. Does, does anybody have any more questions? Anybody? Anybody? And what you can do, I usually put it on a nice plate. I just bring it up for everybody. And you just put it right on here. Right. Here you go, honey. Thank you. Uh, I made you something special today. Oh, I love you. <laughs> All, right. All right. I'm going to stop the record now. Okay.